awkward. Waiting for y'all to come on. I'm gonna grab my phone. I just heard it go off somewhere. Here it is. Okay. Hi, babies. Close this ugly mess behind me. Hi, ladies. Welcome to today's for sale. Yay, it's a surprise. Just kidding. Surprise, we never do this. It's another for sale. <sighs> hello, hello, everybody. Just waiting for y'all to pop on, and we're going to just get started. Before the, the majority of you get here, I'm going to go ahead and let everybody know what the deal is. I sell purses. They're used. After this video is loaded, everything will be listed below and also how to make the payment. If you want a bag, they are um, final sale, no returns, they're used, some are like new. I'll let you know the difference between the new ones and the used ones, as usual. Um, if there's any confusion, I apologize, but it's just as simple as I can get it for you. Um, you're gonna have to wait about 15 minutes or so after I cut this video, then it loads to YouTube. Wait, like I said, 15 minutes or so, and then all the bags will be listed below. And I really want to give a shout out to you lovely, lovely, beautiful friends of mine who answer everybody's questions for me while, I, while I'm feverishly typing away trying to get the bags listed. I still have people asking, I can't see the purse. Where's the purse? Where's the prices? I don't understand this. It's because I'm typing them up and listing them for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. There's several people on here. I think I'd like to add moderators too, but I will do that privately. Ask you privately if you would like to do that. My moderator, Kristen, she does a fantastic job for me, getting the ugly comments out, explaining how everything is done. And I do have some very genuine friends on here that might want to help me out too. If you do, that's great. If not, you can let me know on here if you're interested. Um, yes, so it's really simple. It's easy to do and I want to let you know that there will be zero Content tomorrow and I'm very happy to say it. I'm taking a full day off No vlogging No behind the scenes <laughs> No purse selling no thrifting because tomorrow is my sweetheart's birthday. Randy's birthday is tomorrow and uh, He is being rescheduled for surgery. Thank you Lord so I have something very, very special planned for him tomorrow with all of our friends and family. And I'm not going to record it because I'm keeping it just between us tomorrow. So it's going to be a very, very special day, actually starting early in the morning all the way through night. So you know what, Jan? I do. <laughs> and so does he. So um you know, with everything going on and he works constantly, I work constantly. And I said, you know what? The recording devices are off. The answering questions are off. Instagram is, oh, I'll probably post a picture or two on Instagram just cause it's for, why not? But as far as anything else, nope, nope, nope. It's just gonna be us tomorrow. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. So today's gonna be the last per sale for a little while. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. I do have some good things here for you today. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. Thank you very much for all the birthday wishes. I will let Randy know. He's working right now. So, okay, let's get started. I've got the bags that I showed in most of the bags that I showed in yesterday's thrift haul. And then a couple additional ones that I thrifted that you guys haven't seen yet. So, like I said, after this video is over... All the bags will be listed in the info box below. Purchase price, how to purchase, so on and so forth. All right, let's, um, Jenny, I'm going to show you your bag that you purchased. Jenny has purchased this gorgeous Juicy Couture that I hauled yesterday in my video. Like I said, when I do uh, video hauls, you can always contact me. Hold on a second. You can always contact me on my Instagram through DM, private message. It's an option you have there. Um, I usually 
don't get to many of the comments. I try, but I don't get to too many of the original just comments under a picture. But if you private message me, I try to get through all of them as best I can. And Jenny got a hold of me and wanted this Juicy Couture bag that I thrifted. So this is sold in case anybody's wondering because they saw it in my video yesterday and they know that I do re I sell my things over here. So Jenny, this is your bag. I'll show you it on and it's definitely a large one that you love. Okay, so you guys can see it's a very large bag with the sequin and the little leather Juicy Couture tag on it. It's very, very pretty. Going to my beautiful friend, Jenny. Okay, so this will be on your way. Oh, you guys, you guys, I'm not doing any shipping tomorrow um, because I'm not going to take time to go to the post office. I'm sorry. But it, everything that you see that will be sold today will be shipped first thing Monday. Um, Sundays, the post offices are not open. And like I said, tomorrow, I'm finally going to do a me and Randy day with not even shipping. So I will package it up tonight. I will definitely get all this stuff packaged up tonight, but it will not ship until Monday morning. So please do not message me wanting to know if I shipped it tomorrow because I'm not shipping tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Do I have any questions before I start on the bags that are for sale? I sure have. I, I have some really, really beautiful friends here, I tell you. You guys help me out so much with answering questions for me. And then I've, I've even actually spotted a couple boneheads that try to break me down with their comments, which don't. And then I've got you guys backing me up, and I'm just, Randy and I are cracking up. We're like, ha! <laughs> okay, you guys, this is going to be bag number one that's for sale, because obviously the Juicy is sold, okay? So this is the one I hauled yesterday as well. It's a woven leather, and this little woven part here is a chocolate velour. It has the antique brass studs all around, even on the sides. This is a rustic brown chocolate leather. This is gorgeous purse, and I love the detail. All of the O-rings on the handles, isn't it such a pretty bag? The bottom is pretty. It's all um, sanitized and ready to go. People ask me what I sanitize my bag with. I use a spray lice. Well, first I take baby wipes and I wipe them all down. Okay. Wipe them all down. Um, if there's any leather like this one, I couldn't use my leather conditioner on because of the little velour. But I leather conditioned all the straps. And then, but first I use Lysol spray. So there you go. Here is what it looks like on. This too is another nice large bag. Really comfortable, really soft. Love the studs on the leather on each side. Okay, and then the inside has this center pocket with a super cute little leather tassel. And then, um, Okay, it's by, I guess you need to know that, Max New York, a lovely brand. That's a zipper pocket. Then you have this whole side over here that snaps. And then this whole side over here that snaps with two more pockets. That snaps here. And then you also have the center zip pocket. Okay. So this is Max New York if you're interested, and it's just a really like a boho, rustic, right up my alley kind of purse. And this is like a like a hard um, leather-covered base. Not base. Frame. There you go. Okay. Um, let's see. Guess what I have, you guys. You might be excited about this one. I actually found, I've had it for a little while because I didn't know when the perfect time was to sell it, but maybe now is. Is there ever a perfect time? A vintage black leather coach backpack purse in the black smooth leather. It's in gorgeous condition. And this one is actually not a mini. This is a medium backpack. Show you the sides here. The straps are adjustable. 
Okay, it's got the little silver buckle that opens up with a zipper pocket. And you can put, it's a nice size pocket. You can kind of see where my hand goes in there. Black smooth leather. Then it's got the drawstring closure. Kitty, what are you guys getting into? And then it's kind of like a black hole. You can't really see too much in here, but it does have a zipper pocket and slip pockets. And then here's the creed for you. Okay, so I didn't even put this on my Instagram. I wanted to give everybody a chance at this one because this is a major, major, um, one of my most wanted bags is a vintage coach backpack. And the fact that it's in black is super, super awesome. Oh, and it still has a hang tag, the original little coach hang tag. So there you have it, if you would like. Okay. All right, any questions, you ladies? And gentlemen, if there's any gentlemen here. I don't think I have any guys watching. If I do, they're quiet. They're secretly watching, it's a secret. Oh, that's awesome, Jan, thank you. Yeah, stuff's nasty, it's good for me though. Okay, I know I had several people inquire about this. Here it is. This is an Aldo holographic Alma style bag with silver chain detail. Look at all of the pretty holographic colors. The eye comes come across every single Dooney and Burke you could imagine. And if it's in good condition, I pick it up. Okay, and I love the little strap on it. The strap is also the holographic material. It's got the little lock and the little key. Here's the bottom, it's a hard base. It's actually a structured bag. Um, let's see what else do I need to show you. There's a little black right there from it scraping on something. And then it's got a nice zipper, it's already open. And then the inside looks like this. Nice and clean. Zipper, slip pockets. Isn't that a cute bag? So pretty. So we're on the crook of your arm. Shoulder. Or crossbody and the handles do lay down. Not pretty. Okay, so that's my Aldo holograph purse. Looks just like an Alma, right? Same shape. Oh, I'm drinking um liquid IV. And I don't care what anybody says. The people that are um repping this stuff. You know, advertising on their YouTube channel for, I don't know, because they're YouTube people that advertise stuff. I don't even know. They say, oh, it's so delicious. It tastes like shit. It does not taste good at all. It tastes like, it tastes like Gatorade gone bad. Sorry, Liquid IV. You need to fix your flavor on this stuff. Hey, somebody might like it. Maybe they might like it. But yes, it's water. It's it's um, bottled water, which is I just use a whatever bottled water, and then it's a little packet, and you it's a powder packet. You pour it in and you shake it and you drink it. It comes in all sorts of flavors. I think this is like a lemon lime one or something, but it tastes like what Reed used to say when he was a little boy. It tastes like poop juice. So yeah, basically I've never tasted poop juice, but I'm taking that as tastes like shit. It doesn't taste good. But I have noticed my skin is getting kind of clear and it's definitely hydrating. So, you know, if you can handle the flavor, it's working pretty good for me. 
Uh, no, it's not emergency. It's not that, but it still has all the ingredients, like the products in it. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be great for energy and clarity. That ain't true either. Um, I've got no extra energy from it. I just have noticed a difference in being more hydrated as for instance, when I go potty, it's if you, if you, oh, this is getting a little TMI, but whatever. If you go pee pee and it's not like, you definitely don't want cloudy you know, but a nice clear yellow is good. But if you go to the bathroom and it's completely clear, that means you're totally, totally hydrated. And I'm totally, totally hydrated, if you know what I mean, which is a good thing. It's good for your skin. It's good for all of your organs to keep completely hydrated. Um, and if you go potty and it's, and it's like a clear, bright yellow, that means you're full of vitamins. Okay. Who wants to know all this stuff, right? I mean, if you ever have any medical questions, you guys are free to ask me. Not that uh, I know anything about medicine, but yeah, you want to, um, you do the collagen. It, it's really the water that is doing the work. It is, it really is. But this is supposed to be like, if you drink one thing of the liquid IV, it's supposed to be equal to like three of these waters or four of these waters, something like that. And I don't really like drinking a ton of water. Um, it's just kind of hard for me to drink a lot, a lot of water because it makes me feel sick. So I'm like, hey, if I can drink one thing of water and it's worth like four things of water, then I'm good. I know I'm going to, there's going to be a lot of controversy. I'm not here for anybody watching this after my thing. I don't really care what your comments are about how it's bad for you or how it's equal to that. I'm just saying what I do. So don't bother, you know, giving me your opinion on it. <laughs> it's just what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Okay. Opinions not welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding, you guys. You guys can leave your opinions. <laughs> I just want you. <laughs> no. You guys, I'm being so rude. Let's get back to purses, what I really do. Right? Just do you, Maddie. By the way, Maddie, your purses are on the way. You're two Betsy Johnsons, and there's another one of those little bugs. All right, you guys. Let's do bag, another bag. This is one I also hauled yesterday, and it's so cute. It's from a Disney boutique, I'm assuming from Disneyland. It's like a coated canvas, very boho-looking, adorable little bucket bag. Um, it's got the little Disney boutique emblem on the front. This is vegan leather. It's got adorable little poof ball yarn charms on it to match the material. It's so cute. Love this purse. It's in really excellent condition. Let's just go ahead and show you it on. There you go. And there you go. Have you guys ever, I'm one of those people like with my fringe bags and stuff when I'm in line, I'm constantly playing with them or when Randy and I are driving and it's in my seat, I'm like always running my fingers through the fringe and stuff. It's very soothing as a matter of fact, especially if you're with people that are giving you anxiety. I won't say any, I won't say who, but when you get anxiety and you just like, I don't know. Oh, thank you, Robin. Thank you so much. Actually, this Water might be giving me a little energy. I'm feeling a little picked up. But then again, I took my vitamins. I take vitamins every day too, you guys. Yes, I'm a vitamin taker. Okay, so the interior is black with a zipper pocket and a slip pocket that says, has like Disney little emblems all over it. Just a really precious little bag and the colors are way, way, way stinking cute, so. I love it. I really, really love it. Okay. Mickey Mouse bag. Um, which one of you do I want to show? Which one do you know what? Let's hop into wallets and then we'll do purses again. Look at this little cutie patootie, juicy couture, little coin purse wallet, brand spanking new, cute little juicy zipper pull. And here is the inside with the little, I hear you back there getting into something messy. 
there it zips around three quarters of the way. Okay, so if you so much would like to have this one, just purchase it. As soon as the video is over, it can be all yours. Well, let's do this beautimous, gorgeous wallet. Embossed leather, genuine leather, front and back. Okay, magnetic snap. All your credit card slots and an ID window, zipper, and extra pockets. Not a name, there's no name brand because I'm assuming it's handmade from probably a family owned company, which is something I love. Okay, and yeah, it's a chocolate brown embossed leather wallet. Let's put you over here. All right, this super pretty authentic Dooney and Burt Koi coin key wallet in red. Front and back, leather trim, zipper top, and this seems to be in brand new condition as well. It doesn't even look like it's ever been used. It's still stiff. And it's got the silver keychain on it by Dooney and Burke. Oh, did you, Stacy? Did you love it? Do you like hair on hide bags? I won't be purchasing from Holy Cow Couture anymore. There's some very, very, very bad things going down there. So um, I can't say what because I could get in a lot of trouble for doing that. But I'm just letting everybody know here, I am no longer purchasing from them. They didn't do anything to me. Just letting you know, nothing happened to me. But uh, I don't approve of, I don't approve of some things going on. So um, yeah. Let's see. Okay, then I have this black pebble leather uh, Marc Jacobs wallet. Okay, and it's a zip around, and then in it you have all sorts of credit card slots and a couple slip pockets, and then a large pocket here for all kinds of maybe additional. Um, cards and receipts and all that good stuff. So this is a Mark, Mark Jacobs. Pretty, pretty wallet. And it's a genuine black pebbled leather with um, gold hardware. All right, back to the purses now. Okay, let's do, let's do this one. This is the one I want, one I'd be keeping for me, of course, and I cannot. I love the little fringes on it. Genuine leather, got little whip stitching on it, double handle, like a goldish color O-rings by Elliot Luca. And it's definitely a vintage leather and like a vaquetta leather. The front and the back and the sides all have whip, whip stitching all the way around. It's got feet on the bottom. Okay, and then the inside looks like this. So there are some signs of wear on the inside, which I know most of you, it doesn't bother me either. And it has a, um, two magnetic snap closures. You can kind of see them, they're hidden in the leather. See, there you go. It's super smushy, lightweight. You know what? I've gotten rid of 90% of my purse collection. I don't really have a lot of purses anymore. All I have is what um, my kids or my husband gave me. Yeah, since I do this constantly, there's really not much to see. One of them's right there. That's my Prada. And I sold the exact, exact, exact same one, you guys. I found I had two. One was mine, which I got originally from the boutique years ago. That's this one. And then I found the exact same one at Savers, and it just sold 
a week ago if you're here let me know if you love it um but yeah so that one i kept that one's mine but yeah i don't really have much of a collection anymore not too much okay so this oh i love the straps too like all the i don't know i just really like this one do you guys like this, this one if not you don't have to buy it because i love it so elliot luca Okay. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Gail. Thank you, Guzogina. Gina. Guzogina, I said. All right. Let's see. I'm looking if there's any questions from my girls, and I don't see any. Okay. So then there's that. Um, I have this really pretty Perlina cro woo, crossbody in a black pebbled leather. Okay, it's got a quilted pattern on the front, quilted pattern of leather on the front with this pocket, which fits your phone fine. Or if you want a little bit more safety, you can put it in a zipper pocket. It's also got the top zipper. And here's the inside. This is Perlina right here. And it's got two leather lined slip pockets right there. It's got an adjustable crossbody strap, gold hardware, um, little studs on the ends right here. And it's like, it's, um, I love the way it's made like that, how it widens at the bottom because it's a smaller bag, but you can still fit tons of stuff in it because of the depth. Okay, now let's show you it on. That's the size of the crossbody. Or you can adjust it to make it a shoulder bag. Um, yeah, you can make it shorter, like here. You can have it this right here or longer for you nice, nice tall gals out there. Okay, so that's Perlina. Um, this one I love too. Let's get this one off. This is a Calvin Klein I just thrifted. It's a Safiano leather. This one is so nice. Okay, so this one looks as if it's never been worn either. Um, you have a nice slip front pocket. Let me try it on and show you what it looks like on. So it's made to be a crossbody. I just have it on a shorter length so you can see what it also looks like as a shoulder bag but it's definitely adjustable and it goes really long actually okay so this whole entire thing here is a, a magnetic snap pocket then the back zips around and it's your built-in wallet it has lots of credit card slots and an id window in there hopefully you can see that's the ID window down there. And then all those on each side are credit card compartments. And I'd say this is a khaki and black color. And then the front zip or top zip. Really large interior with two leather lined slip pockets, a receipt. Dang, I wanna find more money in there. Ooh, somebody's um, EBT. Oh no, it's Walmart. Somebody bought some stuff at Walmart. Not too exciting. What else we got in here? Okay, so here's the interior. Two zip slip pockets, and then your zipper is right here. What is this? Oh dang. A gold charm? And a diamond heart charm. And then something else dropped. A little gold ring thing. Can you see? 
all that was in there. Huh. Mm. Oh, okay. So anyways, that's the interior. And it's a super nice bag. It's a Safiano leather. Okay. All right. Oh, and gold hardware. Oh, here's the one that was mine. You guys I had a lot of people interested. So, okay, have it. You want it? Have it. Brand new tags. I got it from um, Marshalls. And I will just price it at what I paid for it. Okay, so it's a Croco embossed faux leather. It has the crossbody strap. Brand new tags. Obviously, I've never used it. Retail on this bag was, I need my glasses, $89. Where's the camera? There we go. That's the retail. It is by, uh, Col I don't have my glasses. So we're just going to say it's the white Croco bag. Because I'm loving my whites and my creams and my topes. So I will make no profit on this. If you would like it, you can have it. And here's the inside. Actually, this is super easy to clean. You just wipe it off with a baby wipe. Super easy. That's why white suede is a different story, though. Um, I'm going to keep the paper, though, because I want to keep it, like, brand new. Let me show you. And you can take the long strap off if you want. It comes off. So that's the inside. Very simple. Cute. It goes with everything. Bought it for me. But I know a lot of people wanted it when they saw it sitting back there. So you can have it if you want it. Then I have this olive green, the sack. And you guys already know my sacks go like fire. Once I show them, I swear, I think they go within just a couple minutes. So this is an olive green pebble. Has the little sack emblem right there. It's got cute little stitching on the sides. Front zipper pocket. Big front zipper pocket across the whole front of the purse. Zip top closure. Fits like a hobo. Because it is a hobo. And I love it. And zip top. Love the interior. I like this interior a lot. Isn't that cool? It's got slip pockets with elastic and a zipper pocket right there. By the sack. And it's just a very, very pretty pebble leather. Olive green smushy, smushiness. Did I sell? No, I'm not going to sell the Kate Spade quite yet. Because I'll probably do that on, I have a huge box sitting here. About that tall, that wide, full of wallets. And I also have some brand spanking new Hobo, Hobo International that I get from that lady off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. So, yeah. Okay. Then look at this pretty cute thing. You know, you guys are going to know I love this one too. Got some boho going for you. It's a soft fabric material, kind of like a denim, except 100 times softer with the beaded emblem on the front. And then this has got woven leather in it. It has a pretty red whip stitching around the entire uh, base of the bag. And down the front as well. Okay, it has a zipper pocket on the back. You can put your phone and stuff in there. And it's by a brand called W-A-N-L-U. 
It's got the little name tag on it right here. So you can use it as a shoulder bag or crossbody because it is adjustable. Love this one too, so cute. Okay, you guys, that's it for today. That's all the bags and wallets we're going to do for today. Um, I won't be doing another sale for a little while. So um, this video will be up for, well, the video will stay up. But when everything sells out, then I just wipe everything off and then start a new video when there's nothing left. So, so glad everybody joined me here today. Is there anything that I missed? Lori Adams, everybody here is wonderful. I have made some most beautiful friendships through this YouTube dealio I've got going on. And it's just, it's it's a blessing. It's a true blessing to have these ladies I get to talk to every day. Some of them are completely on the other parts of the world. And it's like we've known each other forever. It's awesome. Hi, Rochelle. Hello, my girl. Hi, hi. Rochelle's one of them. She well, she lives in California. Whoop, maybe I shouldn't say. <laughs> Rochelle is a neighbor almost, and um, but I know a lot of a lot of my beautiful followers here, family, YouTube family, are from way across the world. So it's just a really really cool thing. And you guys, sometimes I notice there's conversations going on in the um, in the conversations in the little um, where you leave. I am brain farting bad conversation area, you know, and it's just so neat to see everybody making friends. I've noticed that um, Jenny and um, and uh, Amazing Victory, they have become friends, which is so nice. It's really, really great to see. And I just love the, the community, everybody coming together and sharing the love of handbags and wallets. It's just really, really nice. And I love you guys too, Sandra. Thank you so much for everybody's, you know, generosity, especially and kindness and just, it's really great. I really, truly enjoy being here with you guys. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and right now I'm going to stop the video. Then I'm going to go type all of the prices. And if you guys are interested in a bag, great. If not, totally understand. It's fine. But I wanted to show you what's available for today. So um, that's it for today, you guys. Any questions at all? Do I don't think I've missed any. I'm looking and I'm looking. All right, you guys. Then stay humble, stay kind, have a beautiful weekend. Rochelle, have a super great weekend as well. And then I'll see you guys on Sunday. All right, you guys. Stay humble, stay kind. See you Sunday. Bye, guys.